Here we are again. I didn't think I was going to have to make this video again. But unfortunately, it's become apparent to me that you just haven't learned. You're still living in fucking La La Land. A little fantasy world where everything's going to be okay, everything's going to get all better. Let me tell you something, buddy. It's not going to happen. Okay? Alright, so check this out. I was, I was reading some threads last night. And, uh, you know, it was just the usual stuff on there. People were talking about... Somebody posted some Tinder experiment screen caps. You already know how Tinder experiments go. You know how the OK Cupid experiments go. We know how it goes, but people, there's new people on the board, all right? More Redditors, more underage kids, more Tumblr white knights and shit. You already know how it is. And they don't know, okay? They don't get it. <laughs> I gotta tell them. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta school them right now. I'm afraid. I wish I didn't have to, but I got to, okay? Listen, you kids, you're living in La La Land, all right? You're thinking, you know, every every little thing you do, you're thinking, oh, this next thing I do, this is gonna be, this is gonna be what, uh, you know, I'm lonely, I can't find a girl, I'm a fucking loser, blah blah blah. This next thing I do, it's gonna be the, it's gonna be the the last thing I gotta do. This is just the last little step I gotta do, and then I'm getting the, then I'm gonna be getting the ladies, and I'm doing this if I go. Listen, buddy. Afraid it's not quite that easy. You see, uh, if you're <laughs> if you're reading Tinder experiments, if you're reading OK Cupid experiments, you're probably already too fucking far gone. All right, you're probably already fucked. Okay, you probably just aren't cut out to make it. Okay, there was just a thread I was just reading just now. Some guy, fourteen year old kid or whatever, found his some girl he grew up with, they were dating, they were whatever, and they were 18 years old, they were saving each other virginity for marriage, <laughs> and there, you know, he's got, he's thinking himself, oh, and anybody who, any, any bitter loser who had been seeing this shit, been paying attention to these kids or whatever, you know, some background character in their lives, some bitter fucking loser, he would have thought to himself, oh man, if that had just been me. If I'd just been that 14-year-old kid, if I'd just done this and that, <laughs> then I would have made it. No. It doesn't work like that, because you know what? She met a genetically superior male. She ran into a genetically superior male. And she was alone with this genetically superior male for just a few days. And he fucked her brains out. She didn't give one fuck about this loser that she dated for four years. She didn't give a shit about this fucking loser. Why? Because he was genetically inferior. Women aren't bound. And I'm obviously I'm not a fucking feminist, alright? The whole video I made about that, that was... There was supposed to be an underlying message that you pick up on there, alright? And, and it was just kind of... Had a little satirical tinge or whatever to it. You know, that was, that's what the point of the video was, alright? Is, you know, at this underlying message, okay, we're in a, you know, we've, we're kind of, ra we're kind of living in two different worlds right now, okay, we were raised to believe something that isn't true, and that's if, you know, all you gotta do, you just gotta be a nice stand-up guy, get a nice job, find that nice girl, Get your nice picket, white picket fence and your dog and your kids and <laughs> but see that's not that's not gonna be going on anymore, <laughs> okay? Because women, well, I mean you you can see the statistics for yourself. What and this was like like three years ago, the majority of children were being born to unwed mothers. Because guys don't want to get married, because then they get fucked, alimony, child support, 
The wife gets fat, the wife doesn't fuck them anymore. And here, actually, here's the thing too, okay? There's some statistics people will say. They'll say, oh, well, you know, the majority of guys have female partners. The majority of guys get married. The majority of guys have children. But why is there so many divorces? Why are these children growing up in broken homes? I'll tell you why. Because the women, they get, they get the good taste of the genetically superior men. They get that taste. And they will still get married, eventually. And they'll be fucking miserable. Because every single day of their life, they'll be thinking back to when they got gang-banged by the football team in the locker room. That's what they wanted. They got chosen by genetically superior men. And they had these experience with, experiences with genetically superior men. And then eventually... Eventually get locked down by some genetically inferior man who just happens to, you know, be a little more stable. We call these the beta bucks. The beta cucks. They settle down and, and they're fucking miserable. That's why they get fat. That's why they don't have sex with you. If they were able to, you know, lock down a genetically superior male... They, and it, I mean, and, it, and that happens. It happens. Those couples continue to have healthy sex lives. Those, you know, they stay in shape and they take care of themselves because they're happy. They're happy that they're with a genetically superior male. The women who get fat, the women who don't have sex, it's because they're fucking miserable <laughs> because they already got a taste of the good life. Or even if they didn't, it's out there. They see it. They're watching TV. They're watching the hunks on TV. They're watching the, they're reading the male models in the fucking magazines on, on Tumblr, wherever they're at. And they're seeing the good stuff. They're seeing the good life and they're thinking, I deserve that. Why don't I have that? I'm fucking miserable. I'm going to get fat. And I, I, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get my revenge on this loser that I had to marry. He's not going to be able to have a sexy wife. He's not going to be able to have this because he doesn't deserve it. He's genetically inferior scum. He's trash. That's what they're thinking. And that's just how it is. And then they'll get divorced. And then they'll then they're cougars and they'll go around and they'll fuck whatever they can get because they they're trying to hang on to that genetically because they know cuz we're we're in this like I said we're in this dual realities. You know, where we're trying to keep up this facade. You know, as society's crumbling around us, as civilization is collapsing, we're trying to keep up this facade that this is what, you know, the ha happy family in the white picket fence. But that's not, it's, that's on its way out, I'm afraid. And I don't know what's coming. It's going to be probably not very good, whatever's coming up next. But women, they, you know, they're out there and they're taking the good stuff, okay? They're getting through the 20s, hot guy, hot guy, hot guy, hot guy. Oh, this is great, hot guy, date hot guy, fuck hot guy over and over again. And, you know, they love it because they can just... They're on Tinder, hot, you know, they're finding the hot guys, they're fucking them. And you're sitting here to yourself, oh, if I just hit a new PR on my bench, if I just buy that new suit, if I just, you know, you're playing catch up. You're trying to catch up and you're trying to be something, but you're, you've already lost. You've already failed. You know what I mean? My finger's been in this camera shot this whole time. You failed. It's over. <laughs> you're, if it all comes down to genetics. If you're genetically superior, women sense it. And it's bone development, height. Why do women hate short men? Because they're they have inferior bone development. You know, they might have the chiseled face, but genetically, you know, it's it's not there. <laughs> That's why women hate short men. Why do women hate ugly men? Why do women hate men that have Big old fat moon face. Because I don't have the sharp chiseled bone development that signifies that I have a superior genetic profile. You know what I mean? And uh, I don't know when you guys are going to get it figured out. You're not. You're trying to catch up. You're trying to fill in the blank. You know what I mean? You're thinking this is all I got to do. This is, you know, if, oh, if he was just a virgin. Oh, if I just, you know, if I was had some more money. Dig this, Okay. Yeah, okay, women, they say if a man's richer, women, uh, are, women are more satisfied. But it's, it's somewhat true, but, I mean, there's what there's a guy, who, what, he was a billionaire? His wife took him to the fucking cleaners. 
you know, 80% of your income is going to alimony and child support for 18 years because wealth is okay. I mean, wealth is a good thing. It's, you know, it wealth is power. Wealth, you can use that for plastic surgery. You can use that to use, get steroids, you know, whatever you got to do to shape yourself to be more, to have that stronger appearance of genetic quality. But... I mean, I don't know. I don't know what I can tell you guys is that you're probably fucked. You're probably just totally fucked for life. And you're probably, you're probably fucked from the day you were born. Okay. I'm not trying to say, you know, that you can't better yourself for yourself, but you're sitting here, you know, you might be 20, 21, 22, and you're thinking, okay, well, you know, it just hasn't really happened for me yet, but I'm just going to keep going. But these women, you know, from 14 years old, from 15 years old, you know, once, once they're, you know, once they've got their sights on a genetically superior male, I mean, that's it. That's what they want. That's what they get. So I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you know, shit's going to be really fucked up. <laughs> you're probably never going to probably never gonna be in a happy relationship that you're looking for. It's probably never going to happen. And, you know, that's what I was trying to get at my other video. You know, I'm trying to say, you know, I was trying to, <laughs> like, you know, trying to portray this persona of, Kind of like a little bit of feminism, but really just trying to hit you with that real message underneath that. But, you know, people just weren't getting it. So I don't know what else to say, really. You got to just, you got to just, you know, you got to suck it up and just deal with it. <laughs> Basically, there's really nothing you can do. There's really nothing you can do because, you know, back in the day, we, you know, the Christian morality and the marriage from a young age. And, you know, and you kind of... It kind of just was like the block, you know, that building block to to the real to what you thought was gonna happen. You know, you you're reading back and you're like, oh, you know, they got married and you know, blah 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 blah, and they got the, you know, everything's good, but that's not happening anymore. Their marriage way down because men don't want it because they get fucked. Women, they just would rather fuck hot guys forever and not get married, you know, and then eventually, you know, they get old and ugly and not attractive. And then they get mad and then they read a bunch of shitty clickbait articles about how men are scum, blah, blah, blah. So I don't know what to say. It's not, it's, like I said, it's not good. It's not a good future. <laughs> or, you know, who knows if there is a future? Probably not. Probably, you know, we're going through basically the collapse of civilization right now. You got to deal with it. You got to suck it up. You think, you know, you're thinking all these things. Oh, it's not my looks. It's not my looks. It's not my looks. Okay. Take everything you are. You can and go do yourself. Go do an OkCupid okay experiment. Go do a Tinder experiment. Go find a picture of a genetically superior male and slap that on where every where everything else was. Women aren't gonna give a shit. You could piss on them. They don't care. You could be a fucking homeless loser. They don't care. <laughs> you know, as long as you as long as you're genetically superior from day one, height, bone structure. That's what matters. That's all that matters. Okay. So I'm just trying to get through to you guys right now. You know, I'm really trying to just hammer it home, you know, and it's not, you know, guys are, you know, people are thinking, oh, it's so pessimistic, hopeless. No, I mean, we got the Oculus Rift coming out next year. We got all this virtual reality. You can be happy even if it is just, you know, if it's delusion, if it's um, coping, you can be happy eventually. You know, you could have your you know, two-dimensional, um, Women, let me look at Japan, you know, they're kind of, you know, and I'm not, I mean, it's probably, I mean, it's kind of across the board, every country, you know, cause it's just, you know, it's all, it's human nature, but you can look at Japan, you know, they've got their shops full of body pillows and figurines and everything that men are kind of coping with, they're kind of, you know, supplicating themselves with to, you know, be and to be able to kind of keep going through life in a happy way. Even, maybe, maybe they're not very happy, but I mean, unless it's something, <laughs> because otherwise, what I foresee in the future, my, you know, I don't know who knows, like I said, who knows what kind of future we're going to have, what the end game is. What I'm seeing is probably, it's probably going to be something like um, a pre civilization society. It's probably going to be like one man with, you know, 10, 15, 20 women that he's with. We're seeing uh, polyamory is very, very rapidly gaining in popularity polygamy will probably see that coming in the future where one genetically superior male has many many women 
the genetically inferior men. And I don't know what we're gonna what they're gonna do with the genetically inferior men. You know, we're seeing, you know, there's pornography, there's these things to kind of keep them um kind of keep them down, <laughs> kind of keep them, you know, something to kind of put in front of their face, kind of say, oh here, take this, take these things. These things will keep you, you know, satisfied while meanwhile behind your back and it's going on right now <laughs> you think it's not going on right now just go, you think that girl that you know there's all these fucking white knights and everything they, there's these girls and they're like oh she's you know she's got the glasses and the and the bangs and the, you know all the fancy little nerdy whatever look and all she's she's probably fucked at least 100 guys all genetically superior men from when she was 13 or 14 years old you know she was getting fucked by the football quarterback and the whatever you know all these guys who are genetically superior to you and she's you know and maybe you'll date her and she'll probably go oh hey you know it's so progressive to be polyamorous and then she's out getting gangbanged by fucking five six foot three muscle bound guys with superior genetics and you're at home on reddit you're at home on tumblr oh my we're so progressive we're so polyamory oh my open marriage is so happy and my wife fucks other men and i'm so it's so i don't care because i'm i'm tolerant there you go that's what's <laughs> Welcome to the future, baby. Welcome to welcome to your future. This is what you got to look forward to because of what you're thinking is going to happen. You're thinking you're going to find the nice little girl and the nice little picket fence. And, uh, uh-uh, not ever going to happen ever again um, as far as I can tell, as far as we can see. I mean, give it 100 years maybe. <laughs> but you're living in something very strange right now where your parents and their parents are alive and they're thinking, you know, they're still living in this alternate reality. Meanwhile, you ask a girl out and... She's a single mother. She's gotten fucked by 300 guys and you're supposed to just man up and settle down. <laughs> but then she'll still cheat on you and she'll still put you in an open marriage and she'll still be polyamorous and she'll still be fucking cheating on you and cucking you and who the fuck knows what else. So stop deluding yourself. Stop thinking that it's just, just around the corner. Just, you know, oh, I just got to do this a little more and, you know, maybe, oh, dang, if I was just this or that. It's all has to do with looks. It all has to do with height. Wealth, it can help. It's not going to save you. Genetic superiority is what women, they have the option nowadays. And of course, you know, I'm being straightforward this time. Obviously, why would I be happy about that? You know, because me and many other men are all kind of being thrown in the fucking trash heap. But what are you going to do? You really, you can't do anything unless you just like suddenly completely remold society and just somehow like brainwash everybody into thinking back and you know but it's it's we're gonna have to go through a collapse and a rebuild really and it's gonna be uh, through our past our lifetimes i would imagine maybe if you're getting born right now maybe if you're 30 30 years maybe i don't know maybe something will turn around but i highly doubt it so sorry to have to break down your hopes and dreams and you know you think all these things and there's a I could go on for hours about everybody's got to cope you know everybody's got their little thing where they have say well well I'm in a relationship right now and blah 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 and they just don't get it <laughs> you're fucked you're probably like 99% fucked maybe there's some very you know outliers and there always are outlier outliers I guess but I mean you just gotta you gotta just stop Coping. You gotta stop trying to tell yourself, oh nope, nope, we're good. Everything's good. Everything's good. You know, oh just, everything's good. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Stop. <laughs> I mean, I just, I hate to see these guys just going hurling right to their deaths. Oh, I'm engaged. Oh, my wife's very nice and blah blah blah. And then you get married, no more sex. She's fat. All of a sudden, give it a year, she's fucking another guy. Oh my god, how could it happen? Oh, we're engaged. If she's engaged to me, that must mean that she loves me, right? Me wrong. She's trying to cope just like you. She's trying to forget her past where she fucked 500 football players and 500 guys that were fucking shredded, six foot five bodybuilders. She's trying to forget that. Oh no, I'm happy with this guy. I'm happy with this guy. All of a sudden, she's at Walmart one day or Cub Foods or Kroger, wherever the fuck she's out shop one day, and she sees her old guy that she fucked. Ooh, wow. Yeah, I remember I, fu- I, I, I could fuck that guy before. Why am I having to marry this guy? This guy's a fucking loser. Hey, maybe I should just, hey, uh, you want to go get, get, get coffee sometime? And then she's on her fucking back, her fucking legs in the air getting fucked by some guy. And, oh, you know, maybe I wasn't really in love. I don't you know, I don't think I really was in love. Let me just divorce you and take all your money and take everything you've got. And then you got to understand 
You're never in the clear. If you're not genetically superior, you are never in the clear, okay? You are just... <laughs> you pretty much just, should just probably give up, honestly. <laughs> you know, I'm, people are going, oh, he's just a fetist, oh, you're pessimistic, blah, blah. I'm just trying to be fucking realistic with you, okay? Nobody wants to give you the real answer. Nobody wants to... Everybody's got some fucking snake oil or a book or a trick or a handy little tip to sell you. I'm just being honest with you right now. You got to understand, <laughs> genetics, looks, height, and to a lesser extent wealth are everything. You're, women aren't going to take anything less, okay, because they don't have to. And they're going to just throw your ass in the fucking bushes. They're going to throw you in the trash heap, in the compactor, squeeze every penny out of you and divorce, and they're going to keep on moving around. They're going to keep on, they'll beat your kids because they look like you and they remind them that they had to deal with this genetically inferior piece of shit. So, uh, that's, there's no really happy ending, I guess, here. I mean, you, know, I, you got your video games, you got your cartoons, you got your virtual reality. So, there you go. That's your that's your out. That's your, and hopefully they don't come for you. Hopefully they don't put on a bachelor tax. Hopefully they don't come in with the fucking torches and the pitchforks and for the single men and genetically inferior men. But we're going to have to wait and see. Time will tell. But, uh. Adios, amigos. Have a great day.